All right. I was going to go to the top. I'm at horsies, but we're running out of light. So I'm just going to drop in here. This is kind of the bottom half. And I'm going to pull a lefty into Pineapple Express, giving the GoPro Hero 8 a bit of a test. Hopefully that angle's good. And uh, we'll see how it goes in this low light. I don't have the low light setting on. But we'll just give it a crack, see how it goes. So I've just finished work. Just dropping a, oh, dropping a single run. Fair bit of grip up here at the moment. Body, bike is feeling really good. Back end's quite compliant so far. Fork still killer. No token now at the front. Which I reckon is probably my go-to now. 170, Fox 36, no token. 95, uh, 96 PSI. I'll probably go back up to 97 because it's uh, just feels killer. There's grip, it's butter smooth. It dives a little bit, so I might just ramp a little bit of compression up on it. Got a back end feeling good. It's probably at 90% of how good it can feel, I guess. But it's quite close. <laughs> no Strava, because I didn't do the top section. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit slick down here, but just got to lean your body, steer the bike. Don't break on the roots. Not that those bits are slippery, but you do got to be careful. Could probably, oh, whoops. Could go a little bit of compression in the rear as well, maybe. But it's pretty good. I got two go-to setups with this rear shock and I'm on my my more recent setup with all four bands in the magneg so the magneg the negative chamber is only a little bit bigger than standard without a magneg 65 percent or something and then three tokens in the pos and it's sitting in the the sag that I want which is what I've been looking for and giving me more or less the performance that I want. So time will tell. I'm still experimenting with that, but I think I'm I think I'm on the money here. See so the no token versus one token in the little pebbly stuff like that, where there's a couple of you know three inch rocks floating around, waiting to skew your tire to the side. It just it's just really compliant. It's really good. But like I said, tiny bit of dive. So, a little bit more pressure. 